Welcome back to JC Motor Garage. So in the last video, we got the clutch in from ACT. So we got a new flywheel, new clutch, new throttle bearing, axle seals, everything, rear main seal, everything's done on it. So this ran good and drove up and down the road. So now we got the car backed up. We're gonna get ready and uh, put some K-Tune and some skunk to uh, the rear toe and the camber kits in the back. And then we're gonna get it up and get alignment done and the inspection. So. Let's do it. So there we got the adjustable rear camber kit for the Integra right there. So 94 to 01 Integra Del Sol and uh, 88 to 0 uh, 2000 Civic. Same with the uh, rear toe adjustment from K-Tuned. So these would be for the rear, uh, the rear toe. These are really nice. So we ordered some DNA ones and we decided to uh, take those ones back and uh, we decided to get these. So we're gonna be installing these in the back. So you can have your uh, your rear toe um, adjusted right. So we got these. And then we got the adjustable camber kit right here. All right, so this right here is the camber kit from Skunk 2. This is, we're gonna be installing this here soon and getting this and getting this and these put in. But these are actually, um, these actually bolt right up to the, um, these bolt up to the frame and the rear trailing arm. So these are the top, um, basically the top trailing arm bolt goes through here and then these ones go through here. So we got those to be installed and then we got these installed. So we got the car backed up in the garage after we put the ACT clutch on. Um, we still need to put on the front bumper, but we need to do uh, some adjustments to the front and the clutch and we need to get new uh we're going to get new led balls for the front and we got to get some wiring because um one of the one of the light bulbs um the thing shattered so we need to fix that but we got the car backed up so we're going to get it jacked up we're going to get both the tires off and then we'll see what we're looking at so all right so we got it jacked up and we got the tires off on the one side so we're good there so what we're gonna what we're gonna be replacing is this right here that bolts into here and here, which gives us an upper uh, camber adjustment. And then the other one we're gonna be doing is the one right up here. So it's this one right there to there. So we're gonna be doing that this one right here, and then we're gonna be doing this one right here on both sides. So we're gonna start. Um, Probably going to spray this bolt right here. See if we can get this one loose. I know those ones will come out because we've already taken this off before. Because we already did the, the rear uh, trailing arm bushings right here. So we got those done. So those are new. So these need to be um, replaced. And then the ones down here need to be replaced. This one right there. You can see it. So we're going to have to spray that one. And then we're going to have to spray the other one. And then get that into place. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is, is we're probably going to have to uh, take the jack and put the jack underneath there. And then I'm going to have to uh, get this bolt right there and then that one and that one. And then replace this right here, this top one. And then we'll do the bottom one because once we get the bottom one out, drop down, we don't want the whole thing coming down in one piece. Okay. So we got the rear... Uh, the rear camber, um, what was it the rear control arm? Control. The lower control arm right there from Skunk 2. So we got those already done. And that's good there. We need to zip tie that right there for the emergency brake. So we'll zip tie that to that uh, to that hole right there. And then we'll be good there. Because that's going to be, see, it's going to be rattling. Okay. All right. Well, let's get this off. And then we'll uh, get this top one off here and we'll get this replaced and then we'll do the bottom one and then we'll do the other side and then we should be good. Okay, well I got this side in. So what I found out was the best thing to do is jack it up from the bottom here, get the tension off of it, take this bolt right here, take this bolt out, okay? Goes in this way and bolts into here. Take this bolt out, take the tension off of your, um, the upper uh upper bushing here because if you do it that way what we did was um we left this one we loosened it up a little bit and then we tried to uh 
take these out and when we took those out it uh stripped the inside nut on the inside there so what we had to do is take a 10 by 1.25 um tap and i had to tap the screws or the inside threads out and then once i did that i used the other side for the passenger side i used those bolts over here so and we had to uh, order two new bolts for the passenger side. And we used these ones for this side since it was already uh, been threaded out and threaded in. So it was easy to go in and I got them tight. So they are tight and good to go. Um, I'm going to put this bolt in right here. So what we need to do is push this, push this down so you can see where the hole's at right there. And then this should go in there like that and bolt up, okay? Now we're done with this side. So now what we need to do is right down here, you can see that there's a bolt for the trailing arm bushing right there. And then there's one on the other side. Let me get this can of PB Blaster out of the way. So you can see that there's one bolt there and there's one bolt right there. You can see the bolt the bolts right there. And right there so that's gonna have to come down okay and once we get that down we can uh we can take this bolt right here this bolt right here and then this bolt right there and those are the other uh toe um the toe adjustments that we have that we got so these are just uh just a plastic or a metal or whatever they are so that's what we're going to do next. We're going to get this one off of there, this one off of there, and replace both those two. And then we'll be good with this side. So we're going to do this side. And then the other side, we have to, like I said, we had to order the bolts. So I'll pick up those bolts tomorrow morning. So I'm going to get this bolt in, get this tightened up. And then I'm going to start lowering the, the bushing right here, your trailing arm bushing, and get this lower down enough where I can get to those bolts up there and get that down and get that replaced. And this side will be, uh, this side will be done. So I got the top bolt in right here. Got this bolt in, got it tightened down, got those bolts in. So that's all good to go. I got it somewhat adjusted. So it's somewhat straight. So when they do the alignment, they'll, uh, they'll adjust this for the, um, for the camber. And then we're gonna do the toe right here. So I got the one, um, the toe thing out right here, the toe adjustment. I got that one out right here. So this one is the one that goes in the front. You can see, you can see how bad it is. All those bushings and everything is all freaking screwed. So, and it's all rusted. So this is going out there. Um, like I said, what I had to do is I had to take the bolts out right here and I had to, uh, push it down because right up here, um, you can see how far it is down right now, but that bolt was not, uh, was not going to come out of there because if this is all the way up here, um, I got a ratchet on it. It's a 14 millimeter. I got a double ratchet on it and I ratchet and I, I turned it. But it hit right here and it wasn't going to be able to come out no matter how much you loosened it up. So you're going to have to drop those two bolts right there. And on that side, you can see that they're right over there. They're a 17 millimeter. Okay. So you have to drop that just a little bit right there to get that out of there. Okay. So that one goes. Um, it goes right from here. Right inside here. And then it goes right inside that little hole right there. And inside there on that little, uh, the little hole right there, you have your little, uh, nut and it's a floating nut basically. And it floats right up inside here. I don't know if I can get a good, um, a good angle on it so you can see the floating nut, but it's in there. It's right there and it floats back and forth. So that's your toe adjustment and they're able to move that back and forth. So you're able to get your toe, okay? Got the K-tuned um, right here. So these are the K-tuned rear toe adjustment right there for Civic to Integra hardened uh, rubber bushings. So this is what we're going to be putting in there. 
this is what's going to replace this, okay? Let's make sure before we try to put it up there, try to match it up, match up the holes a little bit. They're kind of off a little bit, so we'll have to adjust it out just a little bit. So I'll have to adjust it out to make sure that this is somewhat right because this is a factory um, a factory adjustment basically. So you want it somewhat factory. You don't want to put it in like this because if you put it up there like that, it's gonna be, your, your toe is gonna be like, or your, uh, yeah, your rear toe is going to um, push in this way. So this is your toe in and this way. This is your camber, okay? Your camber is basically left to right way and then your toe is goes in and out this way okay so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to adjust this out just a little bit this fits right here this fits right here but you can see you can see how much it's off right there okay so if i put a bolt if i put a bolt in there just to hold it like this and we can put the bolt in there just to hold it in place. Okay, see? And then we can loosen this one up a little bit to move out to here. You don't want to move it too much. So you want to adjust it from here out a little bit and then here out a little bit. You don't want to be all the way this way because you're going to limit your adjustment from one side to another. You want it somewhat even. Okay, so we're going to have to back this out just a little bit. Turn this one. Turn this out. And then turn this one out, and then turn this one out, and then turn this one out till we're kind of even on each side. So kind of even threads here, even threads here, and then tighten it up, and then we should be good to put it in here. All right, so you can see right here that I opened it up on this side, and then I opened it up on this side. So they're kind of even. They're not just open on one side. Okay, they're kind of even here, even threads here. You can see that the bolt hole is lined up here and it is lined up there. So we are good to go to be able to put this back into place. So I'm gonna put one side in and then show you and then we'll do the other side, okay? But it's gonna go right up into this space, right up here, and then you're gonna put your bolt in like that, okay? So let's do that real quick. All right, so I got the one in right here, you can see that I got the one side in here. I got it enough where I can move it up and down. Okay, so now we're gonna have to get it right up here and get it into that hole. And then I'm gonna put the bolt in this side and put it in this way. So the bolt goes like this and it goes into there like that, okay? So it's enough down to where I can get it up there and get, the, get this bolt started. So I'm gonna do that. And then uh, we'll tighten everything down and then we'll bolt these ones back up. The trailing arm bushings right here. We'll get the bolts back into there. And then we'll get it uh we'll get it adjusted. It needs to be adjusted a little bit because you can see that the the holes are a little bit off right here. You can see that they're off. So we're gonna have to adjust this right here to be able to um, put the bolts in straight up. You can see that they're off a little bit, okay. So that's what, that's what we're going to have to do. And then we'll tighten this up. And then we will be good with this side. And then we'll uh, continue with the other sides. All right. So we got the top right there. Everything's tight there. Underneath here. You can see. Let me move this camera around real quick here. All right. So we got both the bushings right there for the trailing arms. We got those ones in and we got that in so we got that tight so make sure when um i had a little problem with uh this side over here when i put that side in there's a little uh like i said there's a little washer that moves back and forth for your camber toe um adjustment right there so you got to make sure that when you get that in there because i got it all in there and then when i went to tighten that up it wouldn't tighten because it wasn't in the hole so make sure you do that first, get that in there to where you know it's going to tighten, back it off a little bit, and then do your adjustment, and then do right there. But everything's good, everything's tight, got those tight, got that tight there. So we got those done, and then you can see that we put the skunk two ones in right there, so those are in, and everything's tight. So this side is good to go, we're going to put the tire on it. 
tighten it up and I'm going to do the other side. So I'm going to do the other side. I'm not going to show you how to do it because I've already done this side to show you how to do this side. So we're going to do the other side and then we'll get it down on all fours and then we'll go take it for an alignment. All right, so we got the rear sway bar um, bushings done on the back. All the suspension is done on the Integra. So we're getting ready to take it up to get an alignment done and get the um, inspection done. So if you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at JC Motive Garage. Hit that subscribe button, follow us a thousand subscribers, and we'll see you next time on JC Motive Garage.